rainy day play. It's raining outside, but there's no lightning or thunder. So let's get outside and play. Today, we'll be making a rain band. You can use anything in your kitchen. Pots, pans, cups, tins, Tupperware, wood, spoons. Everything makes a sound. I'm gonna be using my pots flipped over. Hear that? And tin cans work good. Pitter patter of little raindrops will land on the tins and create beautiful music. I have a moment of sunshine before the rain, so I'm going to set up my band. I think I'll put my drums in the back. I brought some Tupperware too. I wonder what sound that will make. And now I'm all ready for the rain. Here it comes. You can listen closely and hear the beautiful music the rain will make. You can even compare sounds. What do you think will make the loudest rain sounds? The plastic, the cups, the metal pots and pans? I wonder. And even when the rain stops, the fun doesn't stop because you can squirt water to test out different sounds just like this by pouring, squirting, spraying, or bring out your spoons and make your own music. For another great sound, bring out a piece of tinfoil and lie it on the grass and listen you'll hear the most beautiful pitter-patter sounds on tinfoil. And while you're outside and the ground is wet and you have some pots and pans, you could also use those pots and pans to make your very own mud kitchen. You can make mud pies, flower soups, anything you like. Rainy days can be the most fun days. Whether you're in bare feet or rain boots, playing in rain is so much fun. I have something else special to show you. Wait a few minutes after I'm done these instruments and I have another great activity for you to try outside in the rain. Let's catch some rain. For this activity, I'm using food coloring, some jars, and of course I'm going to use some rain. I'm just putting a few drops of food coloring in the jars so it'll be easy for you guys to see how much rain I can catch. I'm even going to put together these two colors so the rain will mix them up. Now to get outside and go in the rain. Big rainfall is about to come so I'm getting my jars ready. I'm curious, how much rain could I catch? I put some jars under the tree and a few jars out in the open. Now I'm looking after the rain to see. It did rain quite a bit. I wonder which jar has the most. Well, the red sure caught a lot. The blue, not too much. The green, ooh, more than I expected. And my colors mixed together made dark blue. Now I'm gonna bring them inside and measure to see. To measure the rain, I have a little measuring cup and a funnel, and I'm going to pour out the red rain first. Now the red was under the tree, so I wouldn't think I got a lot of rain, but it looks like I did. Let's check and see how much. One and a half teaspoons of rain from under the tree. Now this blue one was a little bit out more in the open. Did he catch more rain or less? What do you think? As I turn it around, I see one and a half teaspoons as well. The green was very much out in the open and it also caught one and a half teaspoons. And the blue was a little off to the side and it caught less, one teaspoon. Well, sometimes it rains sideways. So even being under a tree, you can still get a lot of rain. I wonder about on the grass or in the garden and what would happen if I covered half the bowl? So the next time we see rain clouds in the sky, 
We can answer all these questions. Till next time, Ona.